Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, with that last back at you, not as angry as I was the other day. Maybe. Um, but just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, I know I was a little uh, on the labyrinth thing. I'm over there, moved on, getting a lot of shit for it. Uh, but I wanted to let you know a couple updates. So International Tabletop Day is coming up. There is going to be many demos that weekend. It's going to be April 30th. For those of you that didn't know, that is the Geek and Sundry event day. I will be oh, running me. a plethora of events. Um, I'm going to be helping with Tantakaro, Boss Monster, um, King of Tokyo, King of New York, uh, possibly Happy Pig by Aiello. I'll be doing a couple games by IDW, Cat Tower, Machikoro, um, Diamond Monster. So I'll be doing a couple of the games for them. I will also be running uh, Conspiracy. I will be running uh, Birds of a Feather. Um, if I can get a cold of a copy of Heroes Wanted, I'll be running a demo copy of that. Um, and then, um, so I'm going to be doing a ton of stuff. I'll be doing a couple things for USAopoly, um, Telestrations, and their other game, Insidious. Um, as well as Marvel Munchkin. I will also be running uh, Nightmare Before Christmas Munchkin. I will also be running a lot of Munchkin. I'm not even a Steve Jackson guy and I'm running so much Munchkin. I will also be running um, a lot of... Mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, I had this stuff written down and then I lost my phone right now. It fell on the floor and I don't want to bend over and have you guys see my janky ass uh, office chair that I use. Um, what else will I be running? For uh, Renegade Games, oh. I'll be running Lanterns, uh, the festival of uh, the Harvest Festival. I'll also be running Bullfrogs. I will also be running, yeah, a lot of stuff. So I'm going to be running, in charge of running a ton of stuff. Hopefully I won't spread myself out too thin. That is the same weekend as Kingdom Con, um, so I will be missing Saturday to go do the tabletop stuff day. I think that's important to, I think convention presence is really important. But I think that having a presence at a store, especially a local shop like Comic Quest, where I do a lot of my event stuff, is important too. I think that relationship is way more important uh, in some aspects than the convention relationship. Because conventions, the, the coordinators or the people that we communicate with to get into the convention to kind of get our events scheduled with, those change over time. It's not always the same people. Kingdom Con is a great event. I love it. I look forward to it every year. My friends, I'll go to it. That's kind of like our, it's like our culmination event. It's like our reunion event or our homecoming because that's where all the guys get together. We don't see each other for the better part of the year. We have random weekends at store events, either at Monster or Comic Quest. Uh, but this kind of the, the convention where we all get together. So it's good to see everybody, um, and I do look forward to that convention. But Comic Quest also allows me to do a lot of things there that I normally wouldn't get to do um, locally. The Golden State Gaming Network, or the Golden State Gaming Network holds its uh, Golden State Gaming Expo there every year. We do shows there, we do random demos there, so it, it's really important to me to maintain that relationship and that, and, and participate. When they ask me to do something, I don't like to say no. I like to make sure that I maintain that relationship, so that's important to me. Uh, lately, yesterday, I got a hold of some games. I have a friend who is Japanese, and I got turned on to this, j this game that I saw on Kickstarter. It failed, but it's a, a Karuta-style card game, or inspired card game. Um, and I, I kind of got interested in it because I wanted to look it up and see where it was the originated from. So the, the name of the game is, is Karuta. Um, and the name of the Kickstarter was Haranga Asobi Karuta. I'm mangling that because I don't do the, the uh, Asian accents really well. Um, but it was really a great game. Um, I really was looking forward to the project succeeding. It didn't. But I had my friend in Japan, uh, who's, whose brother lives in Japan send me some stuff. Um, and I got some Japanese versions of the original game. This is a Pokemon themed one. Oops, upside down. 
This is a Pokemon themed one, and this one is just kind of more fun. So these games are kind of, they're card games. They're to teach people about either Japanese poems or some form of Japanese history or imagery or something, something to maintain Japanese um, heritage. So it's really good. The other thing that they sent me was this game. It's a German game. I've never seen it before. It's called, uh, it's a Teddy Memory game. And it kind of is really, really cool. Um, everything's in Japanese in the back, but it's a memory game, right? So, like, shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Really heavy box. So, but I, I got these things sent to me from Japan. So I got to open them. Um, her brother's going to translate for me. I just got to send him the things I need translated, which is the whole thing. So he went and opened up Pandora's box. when He he's like, oh, yeah, I'll translate it for you. I was so. at uh, <laughs> Comic Quest yesterday, finalizing Tabletop Day and figuring out what we have to do and what we're running and what I need to get together to run the demos. Um, I picked up Cave Troll by Fantasy Flight Games. It is a two to four player game. Um, basically, you each get like a war party. And this thing comes with a lot of miniatures. It's got 68 minis. They look really high t high quality. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I'm trying to figure out what kind of game it is because it doesn't actually say. It's a board game with miniatures with cards. It comes with 104 cards. Um, and doesn't really say what it is. But this looks kind of cool. It's for Fantasy Flight. I don't demo for them really because, you know, they don't really have a demo team. But this game really, like, the, the cover art really caught my attention. So I was like, I'm going to give this a shot and check it out. And then I lied to my wife about how much it costs because, you know, survival. Uh, what else did I pick up there? I picked up this silly little game from Habith. It comes in a tin. Uh, let's see if it shows up there. It's called Monster Laundry. So it is a rummaging and grabbing game, which is cool. These games, Habba always makes a wonderful, wonderful, well-made product. It is, these are always such a fun, fun game. Um, they always make the, the best games. They always go over so well at conventions. They have a lot of dexterity games and puzzle games and silly little random games that we put together. So it's always really cool to see. Um, Darling, can you hand me the Slamwich box? So it, it's always really cool to get a game from Habba, especially one that I haven't seen before. It's just awesome that it comes in a tin. So it's it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not going to store very well. It's just hilarious to have. And the other thing that I picked up, uh, my kid or my son, Kirby Block, he saw this. He wanted it. It's Slam Witch. It's it's a fun little just a, a flipping card game, and you know you 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 reach to it. It's it's fun. I've played it before with with uh, Jake Lope, one of my buddies. He introduced me to it, but I've never seen it in this lunchbox container, which is cool. It's aluminum. Um, the cards are really cool. I've never seen these versions of the cards either, and I'll show you some of those. We played this last night. It was really hilarious. But some of the cards, I don't know how well that's going to show up. They have metal, a kind of a metal film or a metal uh, finish to them. They have these, like this ketchup and mustard. I don't know how well that's going to show up either. But they have this really cool metallic uh, foil that they put on. They kind of give them a little bit of an extra pop. And I think that's really great. And the cards are so well made. And the kids had a blast with this yesterday. And I, it was a good time for me. So it was fun to play a game with the kids that they picked out for themselves. Normally I pick out their games. But this time they wanted this. You know, he saw this. He wanted it. Price point was there. I picked it up. I'm really happy that we picked it up. We had a good time with it last night. Um, other than that, guys... Uh, Kickstarter news, my buddy Brian with his gamer mats. Um, he's got his Kickstarter going right now. Um, and he's got a really killer deal right now if you pick up the time. So if you do five of the 3x3s, three which are probably the most common size, you can get them for $16 a piece. And then he's got a ton of different patterns and textures and stuff that you can use. You can use the straight vinyl or you can use the, the thicker stuff, the carpet stuff that he uses. But it's really cool. The 4x4s, if you pick up five, you get them for 30 bucks each, and so on. So the sizing is really good. Um, and the mats are really high quality. I've, I've talked about them before. I really like them. I love the prints. I also love that he's willing to do custom mats for you. If you, get, you talk to him, he'll do something customized for you specifically. 
but he's got mats with the hex grids and with the line grids on it, it makes it easier for measurement and line of sights and stuff but the Kickstarter is really cool and I'll attach a link for it down at the bottom but he reached his pledge goal there's still 21 days left on it you guys should definitely pick that up um, other than that parallax the uh, pledge manager is open if any of you guys back that go ahead and fill that out and get that to Adam I know he's waiting on it and that's about it guys so any questions concerns anything coming up that you want to know about or want me to know about go ahead and link it at the bottom so Kingdom Con International Tabletop Day gaming terrain mats boom 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 this won't be as disjointed once I edit it but anyway keep your eyes peeled if you guys see us at an event or anything stop by say hi it'd be great to meet you guys talk to you in person Happy gaming, guys, and may the dice always roll in your favor.